Hello chaps, and welcome back to Tino Car Care. So a couple of days ago, a client called me to wash his car that hasn't been washed in a year and a half. And this is the result of it. This BMW i8 has been stuck in this underground garage for such a long time without being used that it has gathered a thick film of dust. Not only that, but later in this video we have another BMW in need of some serious interior work too. So you're going to be in for a real treat with this one. It's going to be a really satisfying video. So let's get started. I give the wheels a good and thorough pressure wash to knock off most of the loose dirt and dust. I then form up the wheels and use many brushes to agitate and release the rest of the dirt which has had time to really stick onto the wheels. I then rinse the wheel off and repeat the same process on the rest of the wheels as I then reverse the I8 to reveal a new angle of the wheels. The snow foam covers the entire I8 and does a good job in loosening all of that dust. Let's rinse off the BMW i8. Look how our brand new car is released underneath all of that dirt. Let me know your thoughts on this BMW. I personally think it's such an underrated car as I really like the way it looks. I now use a Tina wash mitt for the hand washing stage. This car has many intricate details which I am careful not to miss. I now use the ultra soft Tino detailing brush to get into those tight areas. Let's remove the shampoo from the car. Any questions that you have for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you. With the car clean and still wet, I can add some protection as there is absolutely none as the water is just sticking onto the car. I use the Tino Ceramic Snow Foam. This is one of the easiest and best ways to apply an even layer of protection to your car. The car is now beading as it is now repelling the water from sticking onto the car. Pre-order yourself a bottle as it is almost ready and being prepared for delivery. Let's now dry the car using the Tino drying towel. I now do the door shots and then move on to clean the glass.
I now perform the final check of the car using an exterior detailer. I finish off with the tires as you don't want to be touching anything else once you have got the tire dressing on your hands. Okay chaps, mission complete. Look at that amazing transformation. We have brought the IA back to life. Look at that transformation. Anyways chaps, I know you love some good interior work too. So let's make our way to the next BMW and give it that interior transformation. This here is a BMW X4. It belongs to a fried chicken restaurant owner and it is really used as a work car which is why for example the steering wheel is quite shiny and oily. I start the interior by giving the rubber mats a good clean as I spray them with APC before pressure washing them. I then form the mats up before drill brushing them. To finish them off, I pressure wash the mats and leave them to dry whilst I do the rest of the interior. I now move on to the vacuum. With the carpets vacuumed, I give them that deep clean and extraction. Let's take care of the steering wheel. On the exterior, a shine is good, but on the interior, it shows that a surface is filled with dirt and oils. So I use a Tina scrub pad with the interior cleaner to give it that deep clean. Look at that transformation. Let's clean the rest of the interior. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification button if you'd like to see more. And also be sure to give this video a like if you've been enjoying this. I also carefully clean all of the gloss parts of the interior. Here are your results, enjoy! The M4 is now clean and fresh. Okay chaps, that's all for today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and here are two more videos I think you would like.